so hello everyone we are going to see the classification of the coal now classification of coal is what when the wood is there the coalification takes place due to which the wood is converted into the peat lignite bituminous coal and the anthracite so as we see here wood is converted into peat then lignite then bituminous and then the anthracite what will happen the moisture hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur and the volatile matter they will decreases all these things will decreases then what will increase carbon contained calorific value and the hardness increases from peat to the anthracite so these are the commonly recognized coal they are being rank or the degree of alteration on coalification from the parent material wood is been seen here that is from wood this is a parent material from wood we get the peat lignite bituminous coal and the anthracite so let's have a look first is the peat lignite bituminous and the anthracite coal so let's have a look towards the peat it is a brown fibrous jelly like mass so this is a brown fibrous jelly like mass peat it is regarded as the first stage of the coalification of the wood when the coalification coalification means what in the absence of oxygen wood is converted in the to the peat peat on air drying after 1 to 2 month it burns freely so after 1 to 2 month we have to dry it then it burns freely now what is the composition carbon is 57% hydrogen is 6% oxygen is 35% ash content is 2.6 to 6% so this is the composition of the peat then what is the calorific value as i have told you before calorific value is nothing but when we burn the fuel or the coal the heat liberated is nothing but the calorific value so when we burn the peat we get 5400 kilo calories per kg of the calorific value now let's have the look toward the uses now the peat type of coal gets powdered during combustion so when it get combined or when the combustion takes place what will happen it get converted into powdered form so it is used for bricking bricking is what so when it get in the combustion form what will happen the small block they are made from coal dust or the peat so the block which is made from peat it is used as a fuel in the fire in domestic as well as in the industrial purpose so as a fuel it can be used for domestic and for industrial second thing it is used for the soil conditioning to maintain the conditioning of the soil we use the peat as one of the source now this peat is used for various purpose like steam raising thermal insulation packing gas gas purification and sometimes the power generation now this was all about the peat the next thing we look about the lignite the lignite is brown black they are soft brown colored variety of the lowest rank coal and which consists of vegetable matter decomposed more than the peat so after the peat we get the lignite and which are much more decomposed now lignite is a compact in texture containing 20 to 60% of moisture and on air dry, drying it breaks up into the small pieces so this is a lignite which is a brown black in color which has a compact texture and this contains 20 to 60% of moisture 
the composition of the lignite is carbon is 60 to 70 percent oxygen is 20 percent whereas the other matters is 10 to 20 percent the calorific value is 6500 to 7100 kilocalories per kg so this was about the calorific value of the lignite which is much more than in the peat now let's see the uses lignite is used in making the producer gas now what is producer gas it is a fuel gas which is manufactured from the coal so that is the coal which we used here to produce a fuel gas that is the producer gas is the lignite also this lignite can be used for the power generation on carbo carbonization it gives tar so on much more heating it gives the tar which is used for making the road and also for the aromatics chemicals so this was all about the peat and the lignite thank you